much as we all want to believe, and I do, that wind, the sun can provide tremendous source of power, it simply can't provide those high base loads that we need across our national grids. Well, nuclear is very important because it's green. It doesn't have a carbon footprint. Well, despite what happened in with Fukushima, there are more reactors today being built than there was before. Our grade is 10 to 20 times higher than anywhere else in the world. That's why they call it the Saudi Arabia of the uranium industry. Grade is king when it comes to mining. It doesn't matter whether you're in gold or copper, grade is king. We are explorers, we're dreamers, and that's what we're good at. So this is a, a fantastic project, not just a uranium project, but it's a fantastic exploration project. And that's why you know, we've won the awards that we have, because it's a project that stands out on its own. There have only been four major discoveries made in the last uh, 20 odd years. Uh, that's certainly the Phoenix uh, by Denison, and then you've got Hathor had the Rough Rider, and then uh, Fission has had two discoveries, the Waterbury now the PLS. PLS is uh, discovered in an area that's almost not explored. It um, was first of all discovered by flying an airborne radiometric survey. That survey led to the discovery of high-grade uranium boulders. So we basically laid the geophysics groundwork down that allowed us to trace the subsurface geology. And so we started drilling along conductors that were on trend. That led to the discovery in November 2012. The difference with PLS is how shallow it is, how close to surface it is. So you're, you're talking about high-grade mineralization orders of magnitude of 20 times higher than the world average, but it's near surface and it is a very large system, very robust, and I think we've just barely begun to, uh, to unravel it. We're standing here with one of the best intersections to date, probably on the property. Um, if you look to my right, uh, we've got about 20 meters of high-grade mineralization. It's uh, so high that we can't even read it properly. It's, it's caught people's attention, one, because it's a discovery nothing like it in 40 years. If it was a gold project, we'd be talking about two ounces per ton average. But that's the kind of grades that we've got here. Most people talk in terms of grams, but this project in terms of gold be ounces. That's why it got people's attention. It's very high grade in a great area, but also very shallow. And that is so important when it comes to mining because you can open pit this project, whereas if it's deep, you have to go underground. 2014 is our most aggressive program to date. We're starting off with a 30,000 meter, 100 hole drill program this winter. Um, it is going to be a beehive of activity. Well, right now we have all together in camp, we're looking at close to 100 people. Geology staff, you're looking at about 20 people at the moment. About 25 drillers and then uh, probably another 20 support staff. Um, the fission team, it's, you know, you can't make a discovery like this on your own. It's a team effort. Fission has assembled the best technical team in the world. This is really the group that's led to the discovery. We were able to find a, a deposit where nobody was looking in an area virtually un, unexplored. At the end of the day, what we're really proud of is the value we've added for shareholders. If you go back to the original, the discovery to where we are today, we were able to, one, sell off an asset for 75 million, take over Alpha for 170 million. We grew an asset, but also growing a discovery into something that's got world attention. I think we've got a fantastic team, both technically, but also a good finance team and a marketing team that work well together. At the end of the day is to maximize shareholder wealth.